Magnifica, anima mea dominum, exulta in spiritus meus, in meo salutari meus. Welcome to the new episode of the theme Centuries of Avila, Mother of Interior Souls. Today we shall see her concept of the spirit of service connected with her theme of prayer. Jesus himself spent a long time in prayer before his actions. <coughs> we read in the Gospels. Now during those days, he went out to the mountains to pray, and he spent the night in praying to God. And when the day came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles. The apostles also were like Jesus, as shown by the Acts. The life of prayer naturally tends to action, service. Saint Teresa describes the longing of a soul that has far advanced in mystical contemplation. She writes in her interior castle, It would like to plunge right into the heart of the world to see if by doing this it could help one soul to praise God more. A woman in this state will be distressed at being prevented from doing this by the obstacle of sex. I am very envious of those who are free to cry aloud and proclaim abroad who is this great God of hosts. In another place, she writes, Some of us, however, seem to think that we embrace the religious life for no other reason than to keep ourselves alive, and each nun does all she can to that end. Resolve, sisters, that it is to die for Christ and not to practice self-indulgence for Christ that you have come here. Here is a most consoling text for those engaged in active life. It is from her Book of Foundations. Let there be no disappointment when obedience keeps you busy in outward task. If it sends you to the kitchen, remember that the Lord walks among the pots and pans and that he will help you in inward tasks and in outward ones too. It is here, my daughters, that love is to be found not hidden away in corners, but in the midst of the occasions of sin. And believe me, although we may more often fail and commit small lapses, our gain will be incomparably the greater. It would be a bad business if we could practice prayer only by getting alone in corners. The saint is more emphatic in her interior castle. She writes, We should desire and engage in prayer, not for our enjoyment, but for the sake of acquiring this strength which fits us for service. He continues there, What the Lord desires is works. If you see a sick woman 
to whom you can give some help never be affected by the fear that your devotion will suffer but take pity on her if she is in pain you should feel pain too if necessary fast so that she may have your food not so much for her sake as because you know it to be your lord's will that is true union with his will again if you hear someone being highly praised be much more pleased that if they were praising you this is really easy if you have humility for in that case you will be sorry to hear yourself praised to be glad when your sister's virtues are praised is a good thing it's a great thing and when we see a fault in someone we should be as sorry about it as if it were our own and try to conceal it from others she goes on in her interior castle this my daughters is the aim of prayer this is the purpose of the spiritual marriage of which are born good works and good works alone such works as i have told you are the sign of every genuine favor and of everything else that comes from god she says again and believe me it is not length of time spent in prayer that brings a soul benefit when we spend our time in good works it is a great help to us and a better and quicker preparation for the enkindling of our love than many hours of meditation centuries us spiritual value is superiorly contemplative but she was able at the same time to combine mary's duties with those of martha in her life ascetic and mystic elements were perfectly consonant in her she had a many sided personality hence different authors studied her from different aspects some chose her intellectual power others her virtues her intense mortification her energetic character her clear judgments her certainty of decisions contemplative contemplatives were happy with the delights of her mystical life while men of action have chosen her energy the culture referred to her writings as naturally elegant and fresh she has become a personification of god's love for man and man's response to god thank you